So for this look you're going to require a few things. First, paper towel, then some white vinegar, two of your favourite nail colours, your preferred base coat, a roll of sticky tape and a pair of scissors. Now the first step is the optional step and you can do this but you don't have to. You can get your hands where you've taken off your nail polish and just soak your fingernails into the white vinegar. The reason for this is it helps adhere the nail polish to your nails. Um, so it helps to remove the oils that sit around the base of your nail and can sometimes cause the nail polish to lift off the nail. Um, it just helps that to adhere a bit better. You don't need to hold them in there for very long. 20 or 30 seconds is fine and just make sure you're sitting the container on top of a paper towel and you have a paper towel ready to go to dry off your fingers once they're done. So give them a little bit of a shake, grab the paper towel and just pat them dry. Then you want to apply your base coat and your base colour. In this case I'm using Sally Hansen Insta Grip Fast Dry Base and the base colour I've chosen is China Glaze Channel-esque. Now once your base colour is dry, you want to make sure that it is completely, completely dry. Um, if it's at all damp or at all not dried through, it may peel up with tape. So the next step once it's dry is to get a length of tape, about that long, so say about two inches, and cut it off. And depending on your nail thickness, with my nails, they are quite thick, so they're wide nails, you're going to want to cut the tape in half, all the way down, so just like that, just cut down the middle. And then that is going to give you two strips. Now with these strips, that's going to be enough to do two nails. So what you do is about halfway down one of those strips, you cut, and then you just do the same on the other. And you've got four pieces of tape. So when you're applying the sticky tape to the nail, you just apply it to one corner. just like that, and push it down, making sure that there's no gaps where the nail polish is going to soak under. The second piece of tape that you get, you're going to want to line it up, but make sure there is still a small gap between the corners. That way when you apply the darker colour, it's going to look like the darker coloured boxes joined together. So that's what the tape looks like when it's stuck down on your fingers and see how there's a small gap just in there. Once you've done that then you can go on and do the other fingers or you can paint them and then cut it but I find it easier just to cut all the tape for that hand and stick it on. So once the tape is on your hand you can then get the second colour. In this case I've chosen Grape Pop by China Glaze. And then you're just going to paint over the parts that don't have sticky tape. You can paint over the sticky tape, it's not really going to matter. So just like that, you've painted over the whole lot. And then you don't even have to wait for it to dry, you can just peel it back. So peel it just like that. And then from the other direction, like that. And that's the result. So then you just want to go and continue with the rest of the nails. So that's the final look there. Now it will look different depending on what colours you pick. If you choose colours that have more of a contrast, it will obviously stand out a lot more than the darker colours that I've chosen today. You may even want to change the textures that you're using, whether or all the finishes that you use. So you may want to use a shimmer on the base coat and a cream on top, 
or holographic or just say black on pink something like that just to see the differences and the different ways that it can look but it's basically just a very beginner basic nail art this is my first attempt at very basic nail art um, but I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and please feel free to comment below um, it will get neater the more you practice so I'm still a little bit messy um, but it's more just to show you guys how I do it um, that way you can practice with me too <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon bye